Welcome back to Wealth Minds Elite, the place where we redefine success one elite mind at a time. Today, we're diving into the top 15 things you should avoid buying if you want to achieve financial success and build wealth. We've all been tempted by shiny objects and instant gratification, but trust me, mastering your spending habits is key to unlocking your financial freedom. Over the next 15 tips, we're going to break down common money traps that can hold you back from reaching your full earning potential. Remember, it's not about depriving yourself. It's about making smart choices that align with your long-term goals. Are you ready to transform your finances and start building real wealth? Let's get this money. Let's get started. Let's... Okay, let's talk about luxury cars. I get it. They're beautiful. They're powerful. And they scream success. But here's the thing. They're also one of the fastest depreciating assets you can buy. The moment you drive that luxury car off the lot, it loses a significant chunk of its value. And don't even get me started on the insurance, maintenance, and potential repairs. Those costs alone can drain your bank account faster than you can say depreciation. Instead of throwing your hard-earned money away on a status symbol, why not invest in assets that will actually appreciate in value? Think real estate, index funds, or even starting your own business. Remember, true wealth is about building a solid financial foundation, not about keeping up with the Joneses. Hey, if you love watching your money disappear, make sure to subscribe for more tips. Next up, we're tackling expensive clothes and accessories. Now, I'm not saying you need to start dressing like a slob, but it's important to be mindful of how much you're spending on keeping up with the latest fashion trends. Fashion is constantly changing. What's in style today might be out of fashion tomorrow. And those expensive designer items you just had to have, they'll be sitting in your closet collecting dust. Instead of chasing fleeting trends, focus on building a timeless wardrobe with high quality, versatile pieces that will last you for years to come. You can often find amazing deals at outlet stores, consignment shops, or even online marketplaces. Remember, True style is about expressing yourself, not about breaking the bank. All right, let's talk about high-end electronics. I get it. That new phone with the five cameras and the foldable screen is tempting. And that 8K TV that's bigger than your couch? Yeah, it looks cool in the store. But here's the thing. Technology moves fast, like really fast. What's top of the line today is outdated tomorrow, and that depreciation hits your wallet hard. Remember when everyone wanted the newest iPhone every year? They were paying close to a thousand bucks for a phone that would be worth half that in just a few months. The truth is, unless you're a professional who absolutely needs the latest and greatest tech for work, you're better off buying a generation or two behind. You'll still get a great product, but at a fraction of the cost. And that difference, that's money you can invest, put towards your goals, or even just keep in your pocket for a rainy day. Remember, True wealth isn't about keeping up with the Joneses and having the newest gadgets. It's about making smart financial decisions that set you up for long-term success. And constantly shelling out for the newest electronics just isn't it. Next up, we're diving into the world of timeshares. Now I know what you're thinking. A guaranteed vacation spot every year? Sounds fantastic. But trust me, the reality of timeshares is often far from paradise. The biggest issue? Those never-ending fees. You're not just paying for the initial purchase price. You've got annual maintenance fees, property taxes, and special assessments that can pop up out of nowhere. These costs can easily add up to thousands of dollars each year, whether you use the timeshare or not. And let's talk about reselling. Timeshares are notoriously difficult to get rid of. The market is flooded with people trying to unload their timeshares, often for pennies on the dollar. So if you ever decide you don't want it anymore, good luck finding a buyer. Look, I get the appeal of a vacation home, but there are far better ways to enjoy your time off. You can find amazing deals on hotels and vacation rentals, giving you the flexibility to explore different destinations without being tied down to a single property and its endless fees. All right, let's talk about something we've all probably dabbled in at some point lottery tickets. That fantasy of winning big and finally telling your boss where to stick it is tempting, right? But here's the cold hard truth. The lottery is statistically a terrible investment. The odds of winning the jackpot are astronomically low. 
I'm talking one in millions, sometimes even hundreds of millions, you have a better chance of getting struck by lightning while riding a unicorn than winning the Powerball. Think about it this way. Every dollar you spend on a lottery ticket is a dollar you could be investing in your future. Imagine putting that money into a high-yield savings account, a Roth IRA, or even just the stock market. Over time, that money could grow exponentially, giving you real financial security. Instead of chasing the lottery dream, focus on building wealth the right way. It takes time, effort, and smart decision-making, but the rewards are far greater than any lottery ticket could ever offer. Remember, true wealth isn't about getting lucky. It's about making calculated choices that set you up for long-term success. Hey, if you're still here, you might as well subscribe. I mean, you've already wasted this much time, right? All right, let's talk about new cars. I get it, that new car smell is intoxicating, but trust me, that smell fades, and you're left with a depreciating asset. The second you drive a new car off the lot, it loses a significant chunk of its value, sometimes up to 20%. That's like lighting a stack of cash on fire. Think about it. Would you rather have a brand new car that's constantly losing value or that same amount of money invested and growing in the stock market? Instead of buying new, consider buying a used car that's a few years old. You'll save a ton of money on depreciation and you'll still have a reliable ride. Remember, a car is a tool to get you from point A to point B, not a status symbol. Don't fall into the trap of buying a car you can't afford just to impress others. Live below your means, invest the difference, and watch your wealth grow. There are plenty of other ways to build wealth and achieve financial freedom. Buying a new car might seem appealing, but it's a surefire way to set yourself back financially. Make smart choices and prioritize your financial goals. Now, I'm not saying you should never treat yourself to a nice meal out, but let's be real. Those fancy restaurant meals can really add up. Think about it. A $50 steak at a restaurant could be cooked at home for a fraction of the cost. And it's not just the food itself. It's the drinks, the appetizers, the dessert, the tip. It all adds up. Before you know it, you've spent hundreds of dollars in a single month on dining out. That's money that could be invested, used to pay off debt, or put towards your future. Instead of constantly eating out, try cooking more meals at home. It's healthier, often tastier, and way more budget-friendly. Plus, you can even invite friends over and make it a social event. Remember, building wealth is about being mindful of your spending habits and making conscious choices with your money. So next time you're feeling fancy, consider cooking a gourmet meal at home instead of hitting up that expensive restaurant. Your wallet will thank you. That new iPhone or latest tech gadget is super tempting. But ask yourself, do I really need this or do I just want it? Tech companies create desire, making us feel like we need the newest thing. Most of the time, the gadgets we have are perfectly fine. Is that new phone really that much better than what you have? That money could be invested, bringing you closer to financial freedom. Get the most out of the gadgets you already own. Next time you're tempted, ask if it's a need or a want. More often than not, you'll realize you're perfectly fine with what you have. All right, let's talk about designer furniture. You're often paying a huge markup for that logo. Is it really $7,000 better? Furniture depreciates. It's unlikely to appreciate in value. Focus on quality pieces that fit your style and budget. Check out discount stores, online marketplaces, and estate sales you might be surprised at the hidden gems you can find. Now, let's talk about something sparkly expensive jewelry. It's tempting, but from a financial standpoint, expensive jewelry is rarely a good investment. The markup on jewelry is insane. You're often paying several times the actual value of the materials. Unlike real estate or stocks, jewelry doesn't typically appreciate in value. Sure, a rare diamond or vintage Rolex might increase in value, but those are exceptions. For the average person, you're likely to lose money if you ever decide to sell it. Instead, invest in something that will actually grow your wealth. Put it in a high-yield savings account. Invest in the stock market or buy a rental property. True wealth is about making smart financial decisions, not about flashing your cash. Let's talk about something that can really put a dent in your finances high-interest loans. Payday loans, title loans, and some credit cards with outrageous interest rates. 
These loans trap you in a cycle of debt. They can be incredibly difficult to escape. You're not just paying back the original amount you borrowed, you're also paying a hefty premium in the form of interest, making it seem like you're constantly playing catch up. Explore all other options before taking out one of these loans. Remember, building wealth is about making smart financial decisions. All right, let's talk about insurance. Now, I'm a big believer in having the right insurance. You need health insurance, car insurance, and good renters or homeowners insurance. These things protect you from major financial setbacks. But there's a thing as too much insurance, and that's where people get tripped up. You see, those insurance companies, they're not charities. They make money by selling you policies you might not need. Things like insurance for your cell phone, extended warranties on appliances, or those protection plans they try to tack onto everything at the checkout counter. Here's the thing. Most of the time, these extra insurance policies aren't worth the cost. The odds of actually needing to use them are often slim, and even if you do, the payout might not even cover what you've already paid in premiums. Plus, you're probably already covered for a lot of this stuff under your existing homeowner's or renter's insurance. So, my advice is to be really critical of any additional insurance you're considering. Read the fine print, understand exactly what's covered and what's not, and compare it to the coverage you already have. Don't just blindly say yes because a salesperson is pressuring you. Remember, every dollar you save on unnecessary insurance is a dollar you can invest and grow. Let's be real, guys. Cable TV is so 2010. It's 2023, and we've got streaming services coming out of our ears. Seriously, though, why are you still paying for hundreds of channels you never even watch when you can get all the entertainment you need for a fraction of the cost? Think about it. You're probably paying upwards of $100 a month for cable, right? Maybe even more if you've got all the premium channels. Now let's break that down. You've got Netflix for what, $15 a month? Then there's Hulu, Disney Plus, maybe HBO Max if you're feeling fancy. Even if you subscribe to all of those, you're still likely spending less than half of what you would on cable. And the best part, you're not stuck in a contract. With cable, you're locked in for a year or more. And if you want to cancel early, they hit you with those ridiculous cancellation fees. With streaming services, you can cancel any time, no questions asked. You're in complete control. So do yourself a favor and cut the cord. Ditch that overpriced cable package, invest in a good streaming device if you need to, and start saving yourself some serious cash. Your wallet will thank you. All right, let's talk about home improvements. We all love a good upgrade, right? But you gotta be careful not to go overboard. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement of a remodel and start adding fancy features you don't really need. Look, I get it. That marble countertop and those top-of-the-line appliances might seem tempting, but they come with a hefty price tag. And the truth is, they might not actually add as much value to your home as you think. Before you start knocking down walls and splurging at the home improvement store, take a step back and consider your ROI. Will these upgrades significantly increase the value of your home when it's time to sell? Remember, you want to be strategic about your spending, especially when it comes to big ticket items like home renovations. Focus on improvements that add real value and appeal to potential buyers, rather than just your own personal taste. Let's be real. We live in a world of subscriptions. From streaming services to meal kits to those sneaky monthly boxes, it seems like everything comes with a recurring fee these days. And you know what? Those little charges can really add up over time. Think about it. How many streaming services are you actually using on a regular basis? Do you really need that meal kit subscription when you only cook at home twice a week? And let's not even get started on those subscription boxes that end up filled with stuff you never even use. It's time to take control of your subscriptions, people. Go through your bank statements and identify all those recurring charges. Then ask yourself honestly, am I really getting my money's worth from this? If the answer is no, it's time to hit that cancel button. You'll be surprised how much money you can save each month just by being more mindful of your subscriptions. And that's money you can put towards your financial goals, like investing or paying off debt. There you have it, Elite Minds. 15 things to avoid buying if you're serious about building wealth. Remember, it's not about depriving yourself, 
it's about being smart with your money. By making conscious spending choices and avoiding these common traps, you'll be well on your way to financial freedom. Thanks for watching Elite Minds. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And hey, don't forget to comment below with your thoughts. We want to read them. Stay smart, stay wealthy, and see you in the next video.